what other entertainments do we have here in Osaka? This. Oh my god, fucking Mahjong. Karaoke bar. A casino. Don't. 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 Gamble. Bad. I love you. Oh. Okay. Oh wow, wow. The sauce has her it had me it had me. It gripped me. It gripped me with its grippers. How much is the Emmy video? I'm sorry, I have to charge extra for that one. It's it's like fifteen dollars. It's fifteen doll hairs. This is special. Ooh, not know me. I love you. I wonder what they meant by pick up your dream girl. Yo, Fuku Cho. Yo, a bargain. Not know me. I love you. Oh. oh, I got turned into a hot anime girl at a very strange time. I love you. Oh, it's Tits. Tits, tits has, uh... In the way. Hold on. Oop, oop. Uh, this one, actually. It looks better. I gotta find a way to, like, see if Mix It Up can work. Wow. Bonk. Bonk. You bonk me, I bonk you, baby. Oh, why am I lagging? I think... I think, she, I think she's making me lag. Actually, hang on. Never mind, I gotta go back. But I gotta go back to this one. I love you. No, it's just, it's just lagging. No, it's just lagging. This model does not like it. Wow, it's really bad. Sorry, I'm gonna have to turn that off. I'm sorry. I know I streamed it, but I'm so sorry. I have to turn it off. It is just it's too laggy. Excuse me, bitch! He sure did commit Mordor. He sure did commit Mordor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that redemption off for a little bit because for some reason the game does not really like changing. And yes, Majima did just commit murder. Mordor. Oh, maybe it's just this area. Why all of a sudden? It was... I, I don't understand. Wait, which way do I go? Hey? Okay. Finding out now rather than a big moment? Yeah. It's very, very wonky sometimes. This uh, YouTuber studio can be very wonky. No, oh, shut up. Hey, okay, what's this? Dun, 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 dun. Nah, I'm trying to shop. Bonk. No. You missed. Take a bite. The pains of being a hot anime girl. That is, it's just what it is. And you're a hot anime girl and you have a shitty computer. I don't even really have a shitty computer. Just, I don't know. Very demanding. Also, I guess I could uh, close out a 
team. That also doesn't help the lag for whatever ungodly knows reason. How do I get over there? Huh? Whoa! That's a big man! Majima just used to ruin a man's medical insurance. Fuck your insurance. Fuck your chicken strips. Gotta go back to the bridge of lag. Oh. There's a man after me. Do not know me. I love you. I'll be fine. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, it will be fine. No, it's really bad. Why is it laggy so bad? It's not even I'm not lagging. It's just OBS. It's so frustrating. Literally only OBS is a problem. Down. Would that make you happier? This make you happier if I did this? Freaking... Freaking ding dong. Well, wow. A ghost. In the spirit of Cards Against Humanity, the one chasing you is Mr. Clean and he's right behind you? Not Mr. Clean. Oh, that know me, I ago. Let's see. I'm just testing. I'm sorry. I'm testing. Why? Why is it doing that? I don't know. Uh, let's. There you go. That's better. Huh? Bump into those peasants. Check your video fit. A lot of screen. Thank you for that. Aggressive move. Is it better? Uh, is the video fitting better? What's that guy on about? He sounds pretty pissed. I don't. Hi. What kind of clown ass goes on a raid with a big honking sword like this, ya moron? Don't you got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons? You can't see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword? This is why I was hesitant to sell to you. Huh? You're making this about me? Awfully cocky for a two-bit black market front. The whole point of a business is giving your clients what they want. Both happens, yeah, be happening. Looks like an arms deal. This ain't something I want to be involved in. Uh, I only deal with clients I respect. If you would prove that you are worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Huh? Yes? The hell you on about? You and I will spar. Defeat me! And you pass it. I'm getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine, you want to fight? I'll take ya. See how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on ya. Indeed, that's the point. It's a test of your proficiency with a weapon. Ha, uh, I ain't gonna feel sorry when you lose an arm or if I straight up end you. That man looks like he knows what he's doing. I don't know. <laughs> Clobbered. Woo! 
Holy shit. <laughs> That's rad. Okay, Majima. Okay. Okay. Majima said, hmm. You got beat. Hell are those moves with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever seen, but he's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch! You fail. Oh? Yeah, well, what do you expect giving me a shit sword like this? That statue's got way better weapon. This is merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold, on the other hand, is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. What? <sighs> but apparently you were unfit to wield it. I would ask that you do not return to my shop again. Kinda like the master sword, dude. Huh? What the hell with your damn shop? I hope it burns with you in it. Rumor said you were a dealer to beat, so I went to the bother of tracking you down. And for what, you fraud? You're a fraud. Shit, I've just been staring. <laughs> Ajima, go away! I don't want to get dragged into somebody else's dirty dealing. I'm out of here. Ah, Majima. Curious meeting you here. Oh, it's you. Don't spoke me like that, Gramp. I was merely wandering in search of a place where the two of us could spar uninterrupted. Uh oh, got clipped. That's so? Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. A real nasty customer at that. His name is Fei Hu. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Fei... Fei? Or is it Fei? Or is it Fei? Who? Who? Local arms dealer. Quite the master himself, too. As long as a weapon rests within his hands. Huh? What? You know that guy? Sayo. I knew his father for ages. Back when he walked this earth, checking on him was half my reason for coming to Sotenbori. Sotenbori! As long as we all are here, why don't I introduce you? Uh, I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, don't be so stubborn. It'll be good for the both of you. How'd you figure? This conversation is gold. I feel like we should all talk to peasants like that these days. Agreed. Agreed. Besides, the time to sneak off has long passed. It seems that Faye has been aware of your presence from the start. What? Apologies, Komeki-san. But I do not trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. That's fucking right. Now don't you go being stubborn on me too. Delay no longer and put him to the test. I can already tell I can tell you this already. This young man is most certainly will pass. So what? What's that, huh? Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, come, Majima. I saw the look on your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. And now your silence speaks volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the cleanest tools in your armory, right yeah. Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration, just a few dumb thoughts rattling around. Yes, but what if they were enough to catch Feihu's skill? It would be less dumb, straight thoughts more akin to a full-blown revelation! Whether you give that revelation life or snuff it out is your choice. Better at least give it a try. It's the guy who made the... Yeah! What? Yeah! Okay! Hey, listen. I've had a long-ass day, and I'm tired as, as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objection? Objection? Hey? 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 You recommend him so strongly very well. It is settled, then. Now! What'll it be? This man is an arms dealer. He can... Procure for you almost anything that you may want. Nah, I'm good with that beat up old bat over there. A baseball bat? Yeah, why not? Bing! Home run, baby. <laughs> Bing! Home run. <laughs> oh ho! This should be quite the entertaining match. Is that a puppy's butt? Look at the background, there's a dog butt. Hey! 
Reminds me of pom pom pudding. Ready now? Begin. Puffer booty. It was it was a pepperoni booty. Switch to slugger style. Okay. Try mastering a strong defensive potential. Okay. Whoa. Oh god. Oh god. To press spacebar and B at the same time? Holy shit. We can now bonk people. Get sensor ghost on the case. <laughs> what is the boss fight for diaper man? What? Ain't no way I just did that. <laughs> and he's, he landed in the dog butt's face. <laughs> I bonk. You got fucking bonk. Certainly did not expect you to use a bath so well. You're quite the interesting fellow. Uh. Just remember using one back when I was running raids on the competition. I have improved since then, though. Surprised me too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think of a spur of the moment selection that would get you to arrogant faith. That's what I know. So, uh, Faye, right? What'd you think of my bat work? Hi. You pass with flying colors, of course. You are precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapon top, you mean? That's nice of you to offer, but as I've seen, I ain't real interested in conventional stuff. Ah, so much better. I'm not a common dealer pawning off weapons I've scavenged. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what we do. Hey. Hey who? Hey what? Hey when? Hey where? Hi. Ramen shop? This is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Oh, it's a Chinese shop. Thought it was a ramen shop. Yeah? This is my wife. Long. Oh, God. What? 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 Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so Caucasian. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Very pretty, though. Mm. The customer, yes. Many happy returns. And you said it wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it then? Hi. Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand forged by me. Book arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So you ain't an arms trader, you're a smith, is what you're saying. In this day and age? In my Minecraft server? Precisely. Now all he has to go is her. 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 Now, if I may ask, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. Okay. Oh, I need to bring him stuff. You send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such. That is pretty different. Hi. Our goal in all this is to develop a robust network with arms dealers the world over, but some agents work town takes them far from civilization. So basically, you got these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit? I'm all about that, actually. D. Remote archaeological, archaeological sites produce some of the most basic, beautifully... I can't read. Worn and historically important weapon, a weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout. Yeah. Furthermore, customers who contribute past a certain level are given a special reward. Private arm lesson. What? What's that? What's a private arm lesson? Localizer was just confused by these names. <laughs> I'm confused by them. Yeah? So I'm guessing that means that you were holding back when we fought out there. Naturally. That was only a test. <laughs> One slippery eel. Ah! Speak! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's the one that insinuated it, not me. Speaking of fish, I just remembered I ain't yet ate yet. I'm starved half to death. <laughs> I said this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me the house special, would ya? Ah, uh, yeah. You cut. Oh, no. 
No! Why did they do this? <laughs> Why did they translate this like this? I, it feels wrong. Customer for that side of business. Wait, I fixed you a feast. That feels wrong. Ah! Did you see how dramatically my hair waved in the wind? Thank you for the aggressive love. My allergies. Auntie Mother's a favor I would like to ask you. What now? I don't need to tell you not to spread the word of their business, but I'd also like you to keep vigil over them. And why is that? A happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in their time, their shop may draw the ire of a terrible... Ugh. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> to watch you must be. You bastard, Thank you for the hydration, Davidil. Translation error. Translation isn't always the best. Yeah, I've noticed. That's okay. I don't think... Japanese to English is kind of hard to translate over anyway, because there's a lot of stuff that cannot be translated well, so... Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask only that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps buy something, send them out on a search, that sort of thing. Yeah, alright. I'm headed to the wilderness, the train. Thank you for the pets! Ha. I just... Do not go to jab you. Fuck you. Wow, amazing. All well, the Japanese have like five different ways of saying the word you. Yeah. There's the. There, the Japanese have a lot. It's it. Japanese kind of hard. And that's why I was saying earlier that when they're speaking in their Osaka dialect, I can't really understand what they're saying. I can understand Japanese to, like, some basic extent. But the Osaka dialects sound so different, and the wording is different. I have no idea what they're saying. What's that girl doing by herself? She lost? It's not like... It's not like... Like, Southern. Like, Osaka dialect is basically, like, the Southern draw, I guess. You could still understand, right? I don't understand what they're fucking saying. What? Hey, kiddo. Where's your mom? Are you lost? Yeah, that is a bit scary that there's a child out here in the middle of the night. They mash a bunch of stuff together? Yeah. yeah. That's what it feels like. I guess that's why the English translation is like... Uh... Like, what's that supposed to mean? Or what do you mean? Like, I guess that's why they're translating it like that. Because it does sound like squished together. So you'd say you're Nihongo Jozu. Yeah, Jozu this. I think so, anyway. No, I'm not. I'm still learning how to read it, though. Like, kanji is so fucking hard. All of it's confusing to me. I'm, I'm still learning. No? Then what you standing around here for all by yourself, then? Huh? Reason? <sighs> What's this kid? He's doing it... He's doing it right by not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. So why don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around? She wants to go in the Sega store, Majima. This ain't no place for kids. <sighs> hey, she wants to go in the Sega store. Take her in there and let her play on the claw machine. I think Aussie slang would be closer since they have a lot of phrases that are just like part of a word. Oh yeah, that's 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 true. Off with you then, you little scamp. I don't look like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost, and ought to make a, she ought to make her way home. I hope there's no troublemakers lurking about. Do you want something from here? So it's kind of like, Ohio gozaimasu, yeah. But they say it differently, though. Uh, Ohio gozaimasu is kind of like, just normal. Ill, even. <laughs> a good time? thing. Look at all these arcades. Ooh, you already know, honey. Look at these. Anything new? I already have those. I'm gonna have to get them to change it. I already have all these. Okay. 
Change it. Change it because I want to get something for the child. She wants something. Oh my god, it's the chonky birds. Are these the only prizes we can get? Because these are the same ones that I always see. I could go for that axolotl. Let's go for that blue axolotl. Get it! Riveting gameplay! But yeah. World War II Harambe Paradise Oil Pit Harambe? I haven't heard of that in like years. Hi, Rat. How you doing? Shit, it fell. Grab it by the body. It's hard to type a southern twang. I spoke it out loud phonetically and it just sounds weird. Yeah. You gotta put y'all. You gotta put Y apostrophe A L L. Come here, you little shit. Entertain yourself 29 times, ayo. What the fuck? I want that act give it to me. I moved him too much, I think. Damn it. Damn it. You want you I don't even know how to say that. Hey y'all want to go down to the creek? The crick. <laughs> the crick. <laughs> That's so stupid. I'm oh, sorry. There's sometimes even some people that I hear. I live in the South and I don't even understand what the fuck they're saying. I don't think I messed this up. I don't think I can grab him anymore. <gasps> Guy already. Did I go for another one? You think she'll take it? You think that little girl will take Wu Koon? I mean, typing Japanese with a southern twang instead of Ohio. I tried Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. Ohio. Ohio goes I am us. Check it out. A little kid all by her. Uh uh. -uh. Yeah, she ain't old enough to hustle. Keep your eyes peeled, would you? What the fuck? Kick your ass. <sighs> no, fool. Fuck it. Only at all. Grab the kid. Take down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Also, they're gonna, like, kidnap her and, like, get a ransom or something. Pretty smart. Could be some nice cash in that. Let's do it. Man, fuck you and your big-ass boots. Got something real nice for you, little girl. Wanna go in my truck? Ew. Don't wanna. Huh? Little fucking brat. Wow. Coming one way or the other. Leave me alone. See, what did I tell ya? Look, she's wearing Ugg boots. Okay, get the Ugg boot. Bonk him, Emmy. I'm gonna bonk him. You guys are pricks. They deserve the southern bat of Ohio. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Who the hell are you, old man? Her old man? Nobody special, just looking out for a stranger. Huh? Stranger? Now mind your own business. Why don't you go get in any ideas or we'll make sure you regret it. Oh. So. Let's see how it's gonna be right now. Next time you ought to take my advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town. Full of scumbags. Huh? Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum. Okay. Ooh! 
Ooh, Majima with the slick back. Let's go, Bakayano! Ooh! Yeah! Uh oh. A turnabout, a thunderbolt. Yeet, <laughs> say bye. Hey, bye. Give me a break. A go. Good for nothing, losers. Thanks, sir. Sir, I'm only 24, you know. Huh? I'm older than Majima? What? You look like you're in your thirties. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, why don't you head on home? <sighs> hey, nothing wrong. You and your mom fighting? <sighs> no. What's up? The doll. Huh? The red chestnut. Ah, she wanted the squirrel. Chestnut the squirrel? You mean that red squirrel in the prize catcher? Uh, yeah. You want that? Uh, yeah. I'm sure your dad will buy you one if you ask nice. What? Have a dad. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Same. Uh, <laughs> Fatherless. It's okay, I'm fine. Still, no point in hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can ya? Okay. I don't need it, but it's so cute. I just like to look at it. Yeah? You're a strange kid. Alright, I gotta get going. <sighs> hey. You got to know the, the doll girl. Can I... Achievement unlocked, tell me a story. I have her standing here all day, I might grab her one. Yeah, let's go get her one. That's what I was trying to do in the first place. What the fuck kind of life does 24-year-old lead where he ends up... Where Majima is? The Yakuza life, baby. Yakuza life. It, oh, red chestnut squirrel. That's one. That one in the back, right? Let's try. Oh, I'm a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna grab the bird. Oh, kiss. Ah, it. Alright, try again. Am I still a little bit to the to the right? Oh, I think I can get it. Ah, the chunky bird! The What? <laughs> the chunky bird was in the way. It was the 80s you started young. That's true. We didn't have things like proper child labor laws. Ah, stop grabbing that chonky bird. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch the UFOs, because the chonky bird is in the way now. Yes, now, kid. <laughs> now, kid. <laughs> She wants the squirrel, not the bird, but the chonky! He's too chonk! He was in the way. Chonk. Uh... Oh, you got one here, and there's one right there. Of course, they're both by the fucking chonky bird! Let's try again. I, like... 
Okay. Get it, Majima? Yeah! Shit! That's the sound alert for the kiss? Yes, it is. I'm horny! Sounds like a you problem, if you ask me. Whatever! See. Shut up. I got this. Shut up. Shut up, chat! <laughs> You're just jealous of my massive UFO skills. Oh shit. Ah! Why does she want the hardest one? Now I wish the arcade was playing Treasure Box as the music background. Soon and only I love you. But that dinosaur's butt. Well, it's hard to see. Let's try to grab it by the tail. Womp womp. Womp womp. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck. Again. Maybe I can grab it like right there in the middle. I'm like like zooming in on the I'm like my face is like on the screen. Oh easy, easy. Yeah. <laughs> Massive UFO skills immediately drop squirrel. <laughs> You saw nothing. Got about the tank. Let's go, I got the squirrel. And I still have two. I have two plays, so maybe we can try to get something else. Uh, let's try to get... Let's try to get this... Pink axolotl. <laughs> the kappa? I already got a kappa. Well. I think it's funny how, like, the... The physics of this minigame is pretty realistic. Ah, uh, what, what? 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 Shit! You guys just can't perceive my skill, okay? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Ow! My chest! I got laughed so hard it hurt! <laughs> Fuck yeah, UFO skills, baby! <laughs> so fucking stupid! <laughs> I told you! I told you! I'm just so that good! Watch out! I declare a foul ghost assisted the green. <laughs> Did you help? Uh, he said no. <laughs> Why are you still staring at that chestnut? The chestnut, the squirrel doll, squirrel? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. I have one of those red chestnut squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it yes, to her. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. No. No. Ah, fine. Here. <laughs> Majima wanted to keep the squirrel. I'm on to you, ghost. Wow, it's a red chestnut, the squirrel. It's adorable. Yeah? Well, it ain't exactly my thing, so why don't you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. I never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Best day ever. That's so. Well, glad you like it. Now, get on home. Uh, Majima's so wholesome. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. Ah, wholesome. Common Majima W. Boy, the little scant's a handful, but it kind of feels nice to make her day like that. 
I bet we're gonna see her around more. Ramen shop? Oh. Oh, Ganko Sushi. Talks big, but Lance. <laughs> awesome game. Oh, traditional. Oh, sushi. Oh, I love sushi. Oh, God. If I could eat sushi the rest of my life. Let's eat the. Pito se course moon. That sounds fancy. Eat that. Eat that, Majima. Oh I worked my. overnight. I should be going to sleep, but this is too much fun. Oh no! Oh no! Don't let me keep you up. But I agree. It's a lot of fun. I'm having lots of fun. This game is super fun. I do not regret buying all, basically all the items. Um... I should also probably be like, uh, you. I kind of like this. Increases the power of your regular attack. Oh, I need the health one. I need the health one. Oh, go back. Night shifts are tough, yeah. Don't worry, the pizza will make me pass out short. <laughs> It's a pizza. Yeah, I, I could never do a third shift. I don't think I can I can do third shift. I was consistently always um I was consistently always doing uh second shifts and I I think I like second shifts because I'm also not a morning person. <laughs> but I don't know if I could I, I know I stay up all night, but I don't know if I could like work all night, you know what I'm saying? Night shifts are rough. Cause like right after 4 a.m. I start to get exhausted and I just can't do it anymore. But yeah, second shifts are my perfect sweet spot. I love it. I was working from like one or like it was like 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. That was like perfect. Uh, what am I going to do? Oh no! Oh no! Get you, Majima. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? Huh? Uh, um... Well, the thing is... You want something from me? Don't you? Let's hear it then. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is... Uh... Uh... Then whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I... I have a favor to ask. Can you... Please be my boyfriend! Yeah. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> hold on, hours. Hold on. Age first, please. I actually enjoyed working thirds, though. Nobody's around. That's true. Nanyate. <laughs> Say what? Am I hearing you right? Said, please be my boyfriend. Please? Pretty, please? <laughs> I have the perfect sound for this. Hang on. FBI, open up. Oh, you're about a year or two young. Hey! Me? What? Wait, just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean like, you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yeah, exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You'd be my one and only. Boyfriend? Right, okay. Back it up a step or six. Next with this little lady here. Run up to me on the street demanding that I be her man? Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know I got... She got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer like, Don't even think you won, little lady. Did a night shift for around two years and honestly never been happier that I don't have to do it anymore? I feel like night shift is good for um, a little bit, but if you do it too long... I feel like, like it really takes a toll on you. Like, mentally and physically. I feel it like it really starts to drag you down. Huh, what should we say to her? Let's start as friends. I'll make that as a proposal. I got no interest in women. Uh-oh, Majima! 
Yeah, well, we have to be friends first. I don't think it's a good idea to just go after random people you don't know. To be honest, first shift was the worst for me, going to work at 5 a.m. Oh, yeah. My first job ever, that's what I did. I worked, um, I worked in stock, so I worked at, like, 5 a.m. It was awful. I hated it. Would you say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend. Not just as a friend. Come on now, let's hear that extra syllable that you're saying you're mine. What? You can't just expect a man to jump straight to the girlfriend step. You gotta be more natural, you know? Oh darn it, I left out a few details, didn't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? And? Hi. Yeah, you see, my father is visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. Several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, and a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him, kind of like the blade of a knife. Well, that's a very specific description that I, uh, I so happen to meet. That's just very strange. That's very, that's just very strange. Just very awkward, you know? Very sus, very specific, specific, specific. I think people used to sell services like this. I think they still do. I think it's called a hostess. And a host. Friend to boyfriend. Why would you give him so many details? And why did you just describe me down to the button? I thought I'd have to introduce him to my my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went. Then Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. Wow, you catch on so fast. <laughs> Pretty much it. Dad founds out I don't really have a boyfriend. He'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please! Nobody else can look any- Nobody else looks like you. Can you be my boyfriend just for a little while? Alright. Girl's in a pickle, alright. I want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with him. Very fast. Fine. You painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Huh? Oh, my name is... Oh, uh... Coco. Please call me Coco-chan. Oh, and sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Goro Majima. Si, the Majima-san. I'll dress you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan! Goro-chan! <laughs> we just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No? No, I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't just be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. Uh, uh, if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going. Like, right now. Okay. Huh? I'm getting exhausted already. What's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet my dad over dinner. The three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I ain't got nothing to say to your dad, Poco-chan. So hectic, she needs to bing chilling. Bing chilling. She needs bing chilling. Bing chilling. Bing chilling. Oh no, that won't work at all. That won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro chan. Get a move on. Damn, I don't know what I was expecting. But here we are. Here we are. I forgot that Goro actually has a given name. I'm so used to Majima. That's how I feel about a lot of characters that I like. Like, uh,. Like, it's a little bit easier in anime like Attack on Titan where they all refer to them by their first name. But in some, it's like, I forget that they even have a first name. Like, Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen? I, I think that's his last name. I think his first name is Satoru. I forget. <laughs> so Goro-chan, this is where we will meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. Got it. 
But what's all this about making him angry? Your dad get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should. But underneath it all, he's a good father, I could as I could add. But I suppose too, it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. But you are so attractive, I just cannot handle this right now, okay? I don't know why, but him looking at her like that, I just I I feel something budding inside of me. <laughs> it's called simping. I feel the simping. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. <laughs> I hear academia especially bad about it. About uh first name or last name. You say so if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff. Hydrate, he'll... you bastard! Hydrate! Oh, thank you for the hydrate. But blow his lid and be all like, forget this guy, I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelet rice I make, okay? Okay. What was that now? I have to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made up stuff. If he gets curious, make sure you've got it memorized. Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine, from the top. You've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going out on drives and watching movies. And you love the omelet rice I make, okay? I'll give it my shot. She is a little scary. This chick has an entire fan fiction ready. <laughs> She just busts out her book. She's like, okay, here's page number 536. This is where you slammed me against the wall and told me that you liked my omelet rice. Okay, are you following Majima? <laughs> there he is. Dad, over there. Oh, he looks normal. Ooh, what's this music? I love you, oh, no kuni wa nai. Uchi bega de onna ni buki yo na no ni na no ni to shite da yo nara wa. Hey, Dad, did you like my singing? <laughs> dame da ne, dame yo. I've had this crazy ex that was like this. It was getting too real. Oh, ew. I'm so sorry, Poppin. That looks younger than Majima. He does. <laughs> dame, 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 yo, dame, nano, yo. <laughs> TTS, what? <laughs> what? Oh, what was that? Dame, 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 yo, dame, dame, nani, yo. <laughs> this is Coco chan's dad. Unlike his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Koro chan, this is my father. Hello. I'm Kokoa's father. Pleased to meet you. Okay, he looks normal. And this is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This cup this could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. I guess I better buckle down and make this a role proper well. No different than the grant, right? First impression's key. What do I open up with? Uh, please make my <laughs> miso soup every morning. Pleased to meet you, sir. I am Goro Majima. Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Does your TTS have different voices? I remember with a DK rap voice that would give a seizure from certain word combos. I did have that uh, option available, but it kept breaking, so I had to do just the normal TTS. I gotta go back into that and see if I can get it working again. The website never really... Sometimes the TTS would work, and then sometimes it just wouldn't even play anything. Majima-kun was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, quite the opposite. okua son, you fucked up. Has stood by me every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage the proper introduction. But you seem different, Majima. That's right, Dad. Orochan's not like those stereotypical men. OK, 
Okay, good. First impression went well. Bayonet respectful was a slick move. Hajima -kun. I say I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender waisted. Sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are in the flesh. Majima is 100. <laughs> Majima Riz. Majima be risen people up here on this table today. It would get stuck on the huh, and it would just make random groaning noises for two minutes. I've seen people do that. Uh, I used to... I used to watch a streamer who I would I was like put like lyrics from random songs in their TTS and after a while they would just go I and then it would just freak out. <laughs> yes, I figured there was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? I don't make things that often. I don't make up things that often, do I? Ah, ha ha. Well, they do seem to be good on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy too. Turn but decent. Oh yeah, Majima-kun. Koko may have mentioned it already, but what line of work were you in again? I was a dentist. I'm a Yakuza! <laughs> I, I'm a Yakuza man. I'm a dentist. Wholesome. A dentist. Oh yeah, that's right. I heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist, to be frank. I get told that often, yes. Yeah, I scare people and then they just automatically open their mouths. Oh, Dad. You're being so rude to my Goro-chan. Ugh, I'm just glad I remember what Koko-chan told me in that hack job of a backstory. Incidentally, Majima-kun. Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokoa? Oh, well, that's, um... I didn't ask you, I asked Majima-kun. But, but... Tell me, Majima-kun, how did you get to know each other? What the? He's probably pretty deep. Is he on to us? Gotta explain how I'm supposed to- how I supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that won't make him suspicious. She stopped me in the street. We sat next to each other in a movie. Koko-chan ran into me while eating toast. That's the one right there, folks. Technically, Dennis in the 80s were probably more brutal than the Yakuza. Oh, very true. Very true. Uh, the anime thing. She bumped into me and she was like, ah, 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 Majima! Majima-kun! And then the toast flew out of her mouth. And she was like, yeah! That's so stupid. Okay, um, well, if we... If I like long drives and movies, I think it'd be pretty probable that we sat next to each other at a movie. <laughs> okay, this is just turning me on. What? Okay. I think we stopped the... I, I think we... At a movie. We happened to sit... Uh, we happened to sit next to each other at the movie theater. That's how we met. At a movie? Come to think of it, Coco did mention that you enjoy movies. <laughs> like I said, Coco Tun just happened to sit next to me, and that flick was like a real tearjerker. So I offered her my handkerchief, and the rest is history. Yeah, that's how it went. Amazing, Goro chan. I can't believe you came up with such a I mean, remember it was like 15 minutes ago. So romantic. Well, that's a futurist meeting. And I'm just glad that she didn't meet her boyfriend in any places that she shouldn't be. Hydrant, you bastard! Hydrant! Of course not. I need this water bath right now. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Sorry, that song keeps distracting me. There, I wove in Coco's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Majima kun, I'm gonna put you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Her omelette rice! Dad, why would you put me in on the spot like that? Sorry, Kokoa, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. <clears throat> no, 
then maybe she doesn't need to have a boyfriend yet. Maybe she doesn't need a husband yet. Father. Should be okay. There's a man who would love you and treat you well. Why, I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, uh... Why, I need to ask Majima-kun. What about Kokoa? Do you find attractive? Looking into my soul here. Guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Coco Chan I'd go along with this. I gotta find a good reason why I find her attractive. Okay, not that one. That feels creepy. She makes great omelette rice. That's what I said! I love your omelette rice. I'm saying that. I fell in love with how great the omelette rice she makes is. Oh. I must agree with you there. Her omelette rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But Majima-kun, if that's all you see in my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelette rice that you want, you could easily marry a cook. Dad. Damn it. Happened into Coco's backstory backfired. From this, from her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates her daughter fully, not just for her cooking. Oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Here, honey, don't fall in. But, but, if I just said she's cute, he would have hated that too, right? It's the THC she puts into it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Cocoa. Wait a sec. Her powder in her nose, it's down to me and her old man. Damn, awkward. Option one, wholesome. Option two, funny. Option three, FBI, open up! Majima-kun. Yes. I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Oh! Huh? Her lie? The jig is up! <laughs> what lie? I got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> you can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Is that obvious? If you knew from the start, what How gave us away? How the turntables. How the turntables. Ah, uh, well, well, well. How the turn have the tables. Pokoa's father turned the table slightly and said, I got you now. It reminds me of that Spider-Man meme of them just like two Spider-Mans pointing at each other. That's what it reminds me of. I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father for all these years for nothing. And why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Hmm. Okwa was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I arranged for her. Yup. You know your daughter well. I saw right through her. I lost my wife when Coco was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone else's help. Oh, the music? What is the what is the theme in this game with losing the wife or the mother? I tried to raise her well, so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing her own two feet. I've gotta stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential tutors. For a woman. Time I learned to like them. The truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little raid. And what's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Ah, I still ain't got a good feeling for to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell you, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco Chan pulled his tongue. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry so much about her. Worry? Yeah. It's pretty plain to see that she's the source of bundle of your worry. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you that she can manage her own affair. Like getting married. Sorry, I'm back. Yakuza wacky hijinks with depressing core. Who's old enough to remember the sad Naruto music? <gasps> Me? Like, are you, are you talking about the da 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 Coco wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you guys even break the silence? 
Welcome back, Koko-chan. So listen, your dad actually knew... hajime -kun. Yeah. Kokoa, you've done well finding this man. I have nothing to worry about, after all. Dad? <laughs> I know, right? Koro-chan's super guy. So this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yeah. I see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. Nani? <laughs> Sama miro! Man, yesterday when I exercised, I upped my weights to 20 pounds, so I was lifting 20 pounds, and now my legs feel like they're gonna fall off. Oro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend, even for just a few minutes. <laughs> Oro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> eh, glad to hear it. Aw, oh, that was wholesome. That's rad. <laughs> That's rad. It's rad, but I would like my legs. I wanted to give you this. Thank you. You got five pieces of fluorite. What the fuck? Is this Stardew Valley? Whatever the case, I think I'm free from dad hounding me to meet his suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yeah, well, I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Uh. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Oh god, that skirt and sock combo is awful! Okwa, I forgot something. Give me a moment. Uh. Oh, okay. Huh? Hi, Daddy. The wrong? Hajima-kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Uh. That. Hajima-kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> uh, I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit. Look at that drunk guy in the background. <laughs> no, no. Not at all. That's why... I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend! Oi, oi, wait a minute. Excuse me? What'd you just say? I said, won't you please be my daughter? Ask my daughter out for real. Consider it for a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust her future with you. Psst! I'm a Yakuza man! What the fuck is fluorite? What Monster Hunter bullshit they insert in the 80s Japan? Who has fluorite? Like, around. They're like, oh! Wait, let me give you this gift! Pulls out fluorite? Like, what in the MMO is this? Drinky over here ruining the mood? Drinky? <laughs> Drinky? Oh, slow down. I'm having trouble hearing or believe in my ears. Start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Huh? Oh. The children must be Oh, looks like he hit. He took a hit of the fluorite. <laughs> did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, too. <sighs> I am single. I felt that one. Okay. 